My name is Alan McKinnon. I'm the author of the Decarbonising Logistics book. And uh, one thing I discuss in the book uh, is the difficulty of decarbonising uh, logistics given the forecast growth in the volume of freight movement. Uh, the most widely quoted projection of the growth of freight movement up to 2050 suggests it could be as much as a threefold increase worldwide uh, over that time period. But it's very difficult to predict which, what the future demand will be. It will be affected by a whole range of factors. Uh, one would be the growth of protectionism, for example, which might dampen the growth of international trade. Another possibility is there'll be some reshoring of manufacturing from low labour cost countries back to Europe or North America, which would have the effect of shortening supply chains and reducing the demand for transport. Uh, another possibility is that technology, 3D printing for example, um, might simplify supply chains and reduce the amount of stuff that we have to move. The circular economy, if there's a big increase in the recycling and reuse of materials, again, that could have the effect of dampening the future demand for freight transport. Uh, so it's very hard to factor all of these things together to come up with a realistic estimate of the future growth of freight traffic. But there's another factor which currently isn't built into the forecasting models, and that is the adaptation of our built environment to climate change. Uh, because as climate change begins to impact uh, with extreme weather and rising sea levels, um, we will have to uh, invest in climate proofing of our uh, transport infrastructure. We'll have to relocate settlements. Now, all of that will involve greater movement of material. Uh, so there could be a vicious circle here that in, in trying to uh, adapt to climate change, uh, we will end up having to move more stuff, which in turn will emit more greenhouse gas. Uh, so there's a circularity here, which again I discuss in my book, but currently really it's very hard to predict the net impact of all of these trends I've just described.